Just over 13% of the population lives below the poverty line and the government intends to reduce this by half in the next five years. 23 groups from around the country receive checks totaling $750,000 as a startup investment. At the grant distribution function on Tuesday, Social Development Minister Dr. Amory Brown said that the aim is to reduce dependence on the state. And we need to do much more, not just to ensure that our systems are efficient and we can get checks to beneficiaries on time, but also that we do more to empower individuals. Grants were approved for a range of projects ranging from sport to culture. Barry Winter said his grant would be used to develop the sport of martial arts in the Sangre Grande area. Well, after school, you know, when you have spare time, you find yourself in a bunch of stuff. But then after, after school, you know, you get into the program and you come in, you train, you meet friends, you socialize, you know. It's all benefits to everybody, so I think it will be good for them. Ronald Huggins, manager of Fanatics Steel Orchestra, welcomed the grant. He said it will be used to teach pan music. In the area of um, pan development and music development here, yeah, some of them could go into things like um, teaching in schools and so on. Some of them going into actual performance. For CNC3, I'm Roshan Sopran.